Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Got a pretty nice day happening out here today. Not fantastic sunshine. All systems are up pretty well. And right out there in the direction I'm looking, we got a Category 4 hurricane heading our way. Looks like it'll at least be a significant rain event when it arrives. So good time to get all your stuff ready. You got some days. So hopefully you have all your supplies laid up and you're ready for such an event, depending how it turns out to be. And in the meantime, we're gonna step into the shop today and I've got a new charger that I wanna show you. So for some of the upcoming tests and stuff, I really needed a 48 volt charger. I've got, you know, several 12 volt chargers, but I need a 48 volt charger. And I was looking online for them and a lot of them, they're very expensive, uh, you know, wall chargers for 48 volt systems. So looking around, what I decided to do was get a, another Victron unit. Uh, and then not only would I be able to have a 48 volt charger, I'd be able to have a 48 volt charge controller as a backup as well. So it kind of fit, fit the bill and it was pretty reasonably priced. And this is the one that I settled on. Like I said, it was, it was a good price. It's the 100 volt 20 amp and it has uh, settings to where you can go, you know, 12, 24 or 48 volt and 36 volt, I believe as well. So I went with that and I'm just going to use this as a charger, at least initially. And then uh, I am going to be building another 48 volt system. I don't think I'm going to use that as the charge controller for that system. But uh, it doesn't hurt to have one of these laying around to use as a charger, which I'm doing right now. And the other thing that I stumbled across in the past few days was a really good deal on some 430 watt bifacials. Uh, I've got a couple of them here that I lugged up to the shop uh, to conduct some of this charging that's going on right now. This is not where I want them. I've just got them out here. Uh, it's not a great location, but it's working well for the purposes uh, of what I'm trying to accomplish right now. And for the first job of that, a uh, 48 volt charge controller. I've got it set, of course, to 48 volt. And the first thing is, uh, you know, going to try and get this Power Queen back up and running. Long history with getting that back on line. And uh, I needed a 48 volt charger, and now I've got one. And that's just what I'm using this for right now. I do have it tied up to those uh, two panels out there. And let's look at the log. So when I was setting that charge controller up, I named it 48 volt charger so I'd quickly know what's going on. And you can see right now that power queen is sitting there in float, 55 volts, three watts coming in off those panels. I've never been able to get that up to 56.8 for a while. And I wasn't even gonna try. Initially yesterday, I didn't wanna even try to do that. And this is looking back about 12 hours right now and I lost some information beforehand this is where I started that battery had been sitting there for months as you guys know I haven't touched it I had no way of charging it up I was just waiting for some other things to happen like get some equipment in here and that's that's what that battery was at rest after months was 53.3 I put, put the multimeter on it and then I hooked it up yesterday and I originally, like I said, I was just going to try and do a long, slow charge at about 55.2 volts, which I'm going to do today anyway. Um, but anyway, as you can see, if I scroll, you know, it went right up to 56.8. It never dropped. Uh, and then, of course, towards the end of the charging day, you know, it did after it was a couple of hours in absorption at 56.8, you know, it settled down throughout the night and looks and looked good. I didn't get any weird BMS cut off or anything weird like we were getting when it was hooked up before. So I was kind of pleased with that. And here looking at the history, you know, I've only got two days on it now. This is today and this was yesterday and you can see, you know, I mean, it went right up to 56.8, but then, you know, it did catch a 
you know, a 6.53, which I didn't see. And then it says this morning the minimum was a 0.68 on the battery. And then, of course, it went right up to uh, 56.8. And it's holding right now at 54.9 in float. Really no power coming in. It's just kind of settling down. I've got the float set for 54 volts. So... Yeah, I'm still a little suspicious, so I want to do that long, slow charge on that. So I'm going to reset this thing, disconnect it, and reset it. And just as a little heads up to a lot of you guys with Victron stuff, you know how when you first get them going, you type in your six zeros to get this uh, charge controller configured. Uh, it would not take, it would not take, it would not take. I finally did, dug in and read the instructions, and it said that the uh, code was not six zeros on this particular charge controller. It was different and it was printed on the side. And when I looked, sure enough, there was a code uh, printed in there so small that even with my glasses on, I could not read it. I had to put a magnifying glass on there to figure out <laughs> you know, how to, just to get the initial programming going by putting in the code. So that was difficult and I'm not kidding you. I had to put a magnifying glass on there. So I wish they just stick to six zeros to start with much easier all right so i'm going to shut those panels out there off right now and now i'm going to shut this battery off so we should have nothing up here now and we don't good because i want to start over <clears throat> i am going to do a longer uh deeper top balance on this and hopefully that's all that's going on with this and if not, we are going to bust this baby open because I've got some stuff to do it with now. But Okay, let's go ahead and reset this real quick. So I'll turn this back on. And should get a light here to energize that. Any second now. <laughs> Come on. Okay, so I didn't run against this yesterday, but yeah, the battery's turned on now. I've got the solar panels off, and look, it won't energize. I've got the multimeter on this battery in the on position. Yeah, not good. All right, let's energize with the solar now. Turn that on. Light comes right on. And look at that battery voltage jump up. Okay, so yeah, we still got a problem with this power queen. Should have, when I flipped it on, like I said, it rest for months and months. When I came up here before I even started yesterday, I was 53.1 or 3 volts on this, which really surprised me. And it quickly went up to, with the solar connected, to 56.8, which, you know, that really threw me for a loop. And I didn't see anything cutting off at all. So there it is. 56.3 volts now. Let's change these charging parameters though. Okay, it's allowing in 60 some watts now and it did resort back to the bulk stage, which is good. So I can go ahead and reset that. That got good voltage. And now I'm gonna go ahead and dial that voltage down to what I want, which is 55.2. And when I get it down there, I'm going to let it sit on that for hours and hours for the next week, I'm thinking. See if we can't really get this thing to behave. Okay, so there I've got my absorption voltage set, 55.2. And let's change this to absorption time to, let's just run it up to six hours a day okay and as soon as i set that look no no power coming in off the panels reads that battery voltage at 55.5 so yeah it's already up to where i want it you know a little higher than what i want my absorption set i set it for 55.2 i'm gonna just leave that 
and I'm going to let that just do that for six hours a day and then go up incrementally and slowly and see if we can't get that thing balanced. But yeah, interesting. <laughs> I, I initially started, like I said, to do this yesterday and this is how I set it up. And it was allowing a few watts in to do that. And then just with a wild hair, I went, well, I wonder what would happen if I just went back to lithium iron phosphate presets, 56.8 for um, bulk and then uh, out and absorption and hold it there for two hours, which I did and it, and it worked fine. But yeah, it was seeing that that low voltage and look now it's reset that from what it was. It was like what? 0.61 a minute ago. So somehow in just turning everything off, that thing went down to 5.23 is the low. So, yeah. So this is all an experiment, which I hope works because I would like to get that battery back online. And I know I've got plenty of you guys waiting in the wings to help me if we have to tear that thing apart and get a little bit deep, deeper on it. But that's why I went with the 48 volt charging system to start with. So let's look at the trends of what I just did. Okay, so. Let me get it to where we can see some voltage up there. You know, as soon as I did tie it up, it shot right back up to 56.8, which in the past we've shown this battery would never hit that without dropping off, BMS cutting off, whatever was causing that. But look, just prior to that, let me scroll back and it should be that, what, that five point something, right? Well, even lower than that. Look, look just in in what we did, you know, and I did it in the right order. You know, I shut the panels off first and tried to energize that charge controller just off the battery, which was reading completely full, right? And then only on initiation back to some solar coming in, did it jump right back up to, you know, 56 volts. And then now that I've got it set for uh, 55.2, it's going to take it a while to settle down in there because there we are at 55.5 and then here's real time. So yeah, just holding at 55.4. So it will settle down to 55.2 and then it's going to sit there for days. And then if I come back and I can disconnect everything and see that that battery's holding voltage, then I'll, I'll go ahead and start inching it up a little bit over time. But I'm thinking for at least a solid week that I'm going to let it just try and hang out there at 55.2. So the app is reading the battery voltage at 55.4 and the multimeter at 55.1. And I was just looking at the instructions for that Victron 120 that we've got tied up right now. And it, it actually says 12 volt, 24 volt or 48 volt systems. Uh, you can configure it. I thought 36 too, but now I don't see it. So anyway, 12, 24, 48. And you can see that voltage is starting to settle down a little bit and hopefully it'll drop all the way down to 55.2. And, and I'm hoping I can even see like, you know, one or two Watts of the solar coming in to hold it at that and see what happens, but it's still not quite there to even allow any solar in. And there we go, you know, the yellow absorption light. So yeah, this is just gonna be my 48 volt charger for a while. Uh, I do have another 48 volt battery that I'm going to grab here in the next month or two. And so I kind of need a way to, you know, wake up, test the battery, charge it up, uh, and <laughs> hopefully get this one resolved too in the meantime. Uh, this was cheaper than most of the 48 volt chargers, you know, wall chargers uh, type of thing that I saw online. So I thought, you know, that would work. And then I can use it for some other things as well. So I kind of went with it for a little more versatility than just having a wall charger. And just for those of you interested, yeah, that thing came in at 86 bucks, which was, like I said, cheaper than most wall chargers that I saw. And a few more options by using this, so that's why I went with it. So 860 watts available <laughs> and zero watts coming in. So yeah, 
over paneled for the experiment, but ready. And you can see that voltage is starting to settle down a little bit, uh, drops a little bit more, and hopefully we'll see a little solar come in, just a watt or two, a few watts to hold it at that 55.2. And hopefully in the morning we won't see uh, a voltage drop overnight, and we'll just let this go for a few days. Fingers crossed that it's just one cell in there so poorly balanced that that's what's doing it. Uh, that would be lucky if that's what it turns out to be. But if not, I got a uh, new BMS coming and I got another battery to put that on. And so we got, we have options, but yeah, I'm going to be patient with this now that I've got a 48 volt charger. Yeah, so for those of you out here, uh, you know, be aware, we do have a monster hurricane out there, Cat 4 at the moment. Hopefully, the closer it gets, those sheer winds will bust it up and the cooler waters will have it fizzle out. But uh, make sure you're ready. Make sure you're ready because when they say significant rain out here, you know what that means. And it looks like we're going to get significant rain here when that baby gets closer. So... Yeah, get ready. Relax into it. Well, it's been about an hour since I was first showing you those values. Uh, let's see how that 860 watts of solar is working now. Hopefully, uh, it's taking a little bit of power to hold it at 55.2. <laughs> and when I get these things mounted where I want them, I am going to be uh, putting them at an angle to hopefully get some bifacial gain instead of you know, uh, flat on the ground or anything like that. They're, they're going to have a specific place for a specific purpose. It's going to be a little while before that happens. But in the meantime, let's just look and see. Oh, yeah, baby. We got one watt coming in off of 860 watts. <laughs> one watt holding that battery. Yeah, right at 55.2. Right there. All right. We're gonna do that for a week or so and I'll let you guys know how that worked and hopefully we don't see, you know, when the voltage and the solar panels are completely shut down tonight that that, that battery reverts back down to, a, you know, a dead battery again. So I'm just gonna let this rock and roll for about a week. We'll check back in with it. Multimeter still reads at 54.8 uh, on that battery, but yeah. On the app, pretty much holding rock steady at 55.2 with one volt <laughs> of solar. <laughs> well, it's all an experiment, uh, and we'll see how it goes. I've got many other things that I've got to get done, so I'll let that just go for the next week. Hunker down, get ready for some significant weather. I hope you guys are all well wherever you are at. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Aloha, everybody. Catch you next time. Pretty nice day. And, yeah, when they say significant rain out here from a hurricane, uh, they can be measuring by feet of water coming down. But we'll see. Hopefully it'll all pan out and be fine.